Hello, my name's Ellis, and I grew up in Austin. I had a good childhood from 10 to 13, and from 14 to 16 was very abusive and uh, mental and physical abuse. Began to, to do drugs, drinking alcohol, drugs, anything I could find to get away and ease the pain. Um, ended up going to jail a few times for PIs and uh, disorderly conduct, spiting. And then um, months before I was to be released, my mother had passed away and made my situation even worse, kind of devastated me. Nobody seemed to want to help homeless people back then, you know. As soon as they see somebody carrying a backpack, they knew right off the bat you were homeless. That's why I just went and hid out in creeks or behind churches or anywhere you could just disappear from everybody. And then a friend of mine that lived on the street that I knew came in and said, what are you doing here? He says, come on downtown, get food at the truck. And um, I took the two hour walk from North Austin to downtown. And um, when I got to Woolridge Park, two hours later, there happened to be a food truck sitting in the, at the park. And I went running to it because there was a line. So I got behind, there was plenty of food. So it made me feel like, you know, you were loved, you know, they were willing to help you. They learned my name, actually when they see you, they say, how you doing, Ellis? It, you felt like a person again. My job at food, Genesis Garden is the food forest manager, or that's the main job, but there's other jobs, you know, gardening and building uh, berms and swales or whatever needs to be done. I'd work sometimes by myself or with other gardeners, mostly with volunteers though. They enjoy working with me. Every one of them enjoyed it. When we leave, says thank you for showing us um, what you do and what you're doing for the community. They enjoy it. These are the keys to my home. Never owned a set of keys. And I couldn't believe it. You know, this is going to be my home. I was excited, thankful, overwhelmed. And then um, while I was walking around, you know, the people started showing up. And then before long, there was a full trailer and full people outside, at least 30 people. I said, no, these people came. I must be loved. And I sat, actually sat down and cried. I couldn't believe that I had a place of my own. I just let the, all the emotions out. Thank God, thank everybody for putting me where I'm at today.